Grade 5 Math, Topic 16, Lesson 3. We're continuing to classify quadrilaterals. I put the page also from Topic 16, Lesson 2 on here for us to reference because these are the notes that you should have taken to be able to classify these figures. So I'm going to classify a figure and put it in each of the categories with you, and then you can continue and solve the rest on your own. So if I were to look at shape O, let's say, O has opposite sides that are parallel, and they, aren't, they don't appear to be the same length. So what does that look like that we have on our note sheet? So if I look at trapezoid, well, it looks similar. Let's make sure it checks out. Trapezoid has one pair of parallel sides. Oh, one pair of parallel sides. So a trapezoid will be letter O. There are other trapezoids on the page, and you need to find them on your own. A parallelogram. Okay, so a parallelogram has two pairs of opposite sides that are parallel and equal in length. So those opposite sides need to be parallel and equal in length. Well, if I look at G, G has opposite sides that are parallel. Those are equal in length. This is an opposite side that's parallel to this side, and it's equal in length. So G can be a parallelogram. Let's look for a rectangle. A rectangle has four right angles. So that's a little tricky here because they didn't give us any of those squares that we're used to seeing for 90 degree angles. But anything that looks straight down, like you see here in S or you see here in G, I'll erase my markings so we can draw our square now for a right angle, you would have those right angles present there. So a rectangle, well, looking at G, it has four right angles. So G can be a rectangle too. You'll have to look to see if there's any other rectangles. A square. A square has all sides the same length and a square has four right angles. Do we see any shape that has all four sides that are the same length? Well, G's not, M's not, R's not, nope. Not Q, not N, not V, not S, not L, not O, and not U. So squares, there are none. So I'm just going to write none. Rhombuses. Okay, so a rhombus. Let's go back and look at our definition just to check. A rhombus has all sides the same length. Okay, so all sides the same length. Let's look at, oh, I see a similar shape here in V. All these sides are the same length. I'm going to classify V as a rhombus. Go ahead and complete classifying the rest on your own.